New at 6, San Francisco Mayor Mark Farrell just unveiled the biggest budget in the city's history. The $11 billion proposal is about a billion dollars bigger than last year's budget. 2.5% of it, or $279 million, is dedicated to homeless programs. That's $29 million more than last year. KPX 5 reporter Emily Turner asked the mayor, will the extra funding actually make a difference? Emily. Juliet, homelessness has been a problem that the city of San Francisco has been dealing with for years, really decades. There's not a neighborhood that's not somehow touched by it. And yet for those of us who live and work in the city, we haven't seen a whole lot of change, at least not for the better. But the mayor says that is going to change. We're also very fortunate. It's a new budget with a huge earmark for an old problem. Now, homelessness has plagued our city for decades, but the situation has never been so dire as it is right now. That most of us can agree on. But the question is, will an additional $29 million solve it when $250 million spent over the last two years hasn't? It's just money. It, you know, you can't throw money at it. What do you think the real solution is? I don't know. I really don't. Look, understand the question, um, but you have two answers. Either you stick your head in the sand and let it continue to grow on the streets of San Francisco, or you invest in programs that work. The mayor says funding will go to some old programs and create other new ones. Here are the highlights. $4 million would go to create nearly 200 new permanent supportive housing units. $2.4 million to a program that reunites people with their families. $1 million for youth rapid housing. And the Whopper, $15.2 million for four new navigation centers. There's also funding for additional street cleaners and public bathrooms. Our picture perfect city is blighted with scenes of trash, Litter, human waste, drug paraphernalia, we've seen it all. And indeed we do, daily. Like at this south of Market off-ramp from the freeway, or in a BART station, or simply a sidewalk. To the residents who are frustrated, other than saying we're doing these programs, what is your message to them? Oh, I agree with them. I'm frustrated as well. Um, this has been an issue since I was born and raised here that's been intractable. Um, but we're finding now solutions that are working. Now, the mayor, through his speech several times, did say we're seeing a difference. We are seeing improvement over, say, the last six months. So I asked him, do you have any hard numbers on that? But he does not have those numbers. Guys. So, Emily, a lot of talk about housing options, but does the mayor have anything earmarked for mental health or drug programs? Yes, he does. In fact, it's a total of about $6 million. Some of it's for behavioral health. Um, and another portion of it actually has the first program of its kind in the country that actually takes drug treatment to the streets. Juliet. All right, Emily, thank you.